votes for this match. First referee, Mr. Herbert Matematico, Asian International Referee. Second referee, Mr. Fernando Velarde, National Referee. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our team from Vietnam, Kim Bak Bak Nin. Let's begin with their team captain, number seven, Nien Wine. At number five, Nien Hong. Number eight, Win No. Number ten, Le Cham. Number twelve, Fa Quing. And number 17, Lei Swan. Starting libero is number 3, Dang Tuan. Head coach, Mr. Pham Long. Presenting our team from Japan, Kurashiki Ablaze. Team captain wears jersey number 10, Yukino Yano. Number one, Wakomura. Number two, Saya Taniguchi. Number 11, Akane Hiraoka. Number 15, Asaka Tamaru. Number 17, Mihaya Hala. Starting libero is number nine, Kaoru Takahashi. Head coach, Mr. Hideo Suzuki. This match is under the regulation and supervision of the Games and Amusements Board. Here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PBL via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. You see the first seven for Team Vietnam. That is Kim Bak Bak Nin taking on Kurashki Ablaze of Japan. Later on, we'll be breaking down these players, obviously, as we get to observe them for the first time in our 2023 PVL Invitational Conference. And so, folks, as we begin our game, please bear with us. Let's all get used to these players together as Tamaru scores the first point in this game for Kurashki Ablaze. So far, it uh, seems to be uh, smooth sailing. It's still the first point, but what we see, nothing fancy so far for Japan. Just uh, an open hit. And now, so this is. That's uh, courtesy of Hiraoka Akane, a middle blocker for Kurashi. Now, if there's one thing that we observed beginning this match, and it's the vibe of these teams. They seem to be very happy playing inside the field sports arena. Well, Alexis earlier mentioned, and in the pregame, right, how uh, they really appreciate the energy mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, the Filipino crowd here in the PVL. And I think, you know, talaga, no? very warm and welcoming ang ating mga PVL fans. Now we just saw the first point in this game for Kim Bak Bak Nin. Serving. Serving was Win Huong. And here's Tamaru. Once again, she seems to be a marquee player for Japan. Hit, put up. Tamaru again on the cross. That was outside. She was trying to avoid the block, but too long on that approach. And now let's approach Alexis inside for this report. Anna Mig speaking with a 2022 team captain of Kurashki Ablaze. Sitting alongside their interpreter, 25-year-old setter Kyoka Oshima. The minute they arrived here in the Philippines, they were already watching PVL on the bus home to the hotel. In Japan, they already got to view snippets of Philippine volleyball. Also in their home country, referring to the girls in pink, who they thought were talented, who we know PVL fans are the cream line cool smashers who just won two games in a row just minutes back. And since Team Japan did have Filipino imports, Oshima mentioned to me that Shirley Salamagos did bring them Filipino food and they do regularly eat adobo and the food here is great said by Kurashiki it's the weather they have to adjust to so let's elevate the match by downloading the Filipinas live poll app for just 99 passes per month boomerang back to the panel with all that great information coming from Alexis Tinsai I want to focus on the weather and because right now it's rainy season how challenging is it for a volleyball player at this point of the year 
But you know, I think apart from the rainy season, also it's a bit humid here, right? In in, in the Philippines and uh, in the venue as well, it's a bit warm. I think most especially for our uh, Japanese team uh, here. But uh, it is a factor, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yung pagod, yung init. And they're gonna have to get used to it fast because the semifinals action will only happen until next week. Yes, we did mention there are only uh, four, uh, five remaining game days, including the uh, championship. Which will happen Sunday next week. Ball up here for Japan. Back from the opposite. At the net. Save. Let's see. Tamaru again. Try to go back. Oh, that was long. Coming from number 17. That was Hata Miyaha. But she gets a check on that one. And uh, Kurashiki gets that point. Rare check on the high looper, no? And so we go back. This is now Omura Wako, the setter of Kurashki ablaze on the serve. Back set for Vietnam. Put up by Japan. And that still wasn't a point. Chance. Tamaru, great for defense. Open. And yes, that is a point for Su An Le. Good showing so far from both squads. Is there anything uh, that is striking out for you so far in terms of the point at the back of these two teams? Well, I think for Japan, what we are seeing is that uh, they're delivering good first ball or first pass, and defense is also there. Of course, except with that last one where it was really challenged. But you see the combination plays also right now working for uh, this Japanese squad. And Tamaru really seems to be the number one option. And look at that, avoiding that uh, block. So Tamaru Asaka will now serve. Ooh, that was low. He did mention the humidity. It might be a factor for Tamaru. So now on the other end, team captain Nguyen Wong will serve for Vietnam. She, uh, I believe, uh, had uh, experience or has the experience of playing in the AVC. And she is the ultimate veteran at 32 years old now for Vietnam. Back row hit. Chance. For Kurashi, and that was rejected. Good net defense for Kim Bakbaknin. We've seen a few of uh, these blocks coming from uh, the side of uh, Kim Bakbaknin. So something to watch out for, you know? Siguro for, uh, the, for uh, Kurashiki, they need to make sure that they find ways to penetrate the blockers. Oh, there's a way for you. Gotta be creative. That was Hata Mihaya on the point. Which seems to be the taller team. Seems even. The set up to the middle, and that's gonna work. A point for Lok Win. Sorry, I reversed their name. It's Win Lok. They haven't seen a long rally so far, no? Not yet. They've been uh, ensuring that they get the points right away. Or is that corrected, actually? It seems like uh, Kin Bakbak Nin is uh, taller in terms of at least those on the floor. Mm -hmm. Well, you did talk about their net defense just a while ago. The setup to the open. Great effort by the Libero. And that was a tough hit for Japan. A counter now. Oh, what a save. That was by Omura Wako. And a chance for Kim Bakbakmin. Middle attack. Another tough save. Chance ball way up to the skies. 
This time, combination, no oh, more save for Japan. Probably one of the longer rallies that we've seen here in this set. And that's the way to go for us to be sent to the first technical timeout, eight to seven here in set number one. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Folks, we are coming back to you live from this Field Sports Arena in Pasig City in the battle between our two guest teams in Kurashki Ablaze and Kin Bakbakmin. We just saw the first rally in this matchup. A couple of great saves for Kurashki, but in the end, we saw the point on the tip for Kin Bakbakmin. Back set. Down the line hit was wide. A tricky angle. Over there, a little space to work with. Now we have seen Tamaro Asaka as the main point of attack for Japan in the first couple of points. Let's see how their setter will activate the other attackers. Omura this time to Taniguchi, kept alive by Kin Bakbakmin. Yano, Omura. Back to Yano. Chance here. This time, ooh, bit of a miscue there for Japan. Open, push. That was by Wong. Here's Yano again. Another rally. Rivera was there. That was Kaoru. Yano. Smart hit. Set was actually too close to the net, so she just had to find a way to get it through. And that's just the right angle, swiping it on the blocker's hands. You did mention they're going to have to be creative against the net defense of Kin Bak Bak Nin, which seems to be the taller team. Actually, on paper, the average height of Kin Bak Bak Nin is an inch taller compared to Kurashki Ablaze. As now we got to see a point for Kim Bakbak Min. Look at this, challenging the defense here on the side of uh, Kurashiki. Point belonging to Nguyen Huong. Service now for Nok. Oh, and a smart one too coming from Omura Wako. They saw it, but I think. The frontliners were expecting there would be someone to cover behind. Look at this. Tumingin sila eh, but nobody was there to cover the, 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 the drop. See the happiness of the face of Omura Wako, giving us some Risa Sato vibes. Yano, happy. Yukino, yes, happy, that's for sure. Ball put up here for Japan. Tamaru, the better was there. That was Zam Thua. Omura. Back row. Another rally. Set up to Tomaru. Deflected. This time to the middle. Kept alive by Yano. Tamaru. Deflected again. Tram. That was a strong hit. Oh, <laughs> and that was won by Fam Kui. The strength we are seeing now from Kin Bak Bak Nin really is there at the net. So that was, as you mentioned, Pham Kui, born 1998, the middle blocker for Vietnam. Now it's 
Tram on the serve. Tamaro again. Ball up. Chase for the libero. That was by Thwa. And a chance for Kurashki. Tamaru kept alive. Great effort by Thwa. And that was Wong. He tried to go for the point to no avail. It was a good down the line target, but too long. Just a close game here, and 11 to 10. Both teams not allowing <laughs> the opponent to pull away. Yeah. How about that team? It's the Japanese player, number 10, in Yano Yukino helping. Yep. Wipe the wet spot on the yeah. floor, right? He right. was injury. But uh, that's why they would usually have talaga these, uh, again, you see it at her back, no? Meron siyang sarili niyang pampunas. Mm. So, natatago lang talaga ng players yan. Kahit ba dito sa no, I don't think, teams natin? I don't think all of them would have. It seems like she's the only Shalang, one who no? has, yeah. No, that makes me curious as to how that can bother a player as we got to see a point for Kim Bakbaknin. You think that will bother her? Doesn't she doesn't seem bothered? Yeah. <laughs> Just weird not to see a towel hanging by the back. We return here to Nguyen Huang on the serve. Amura on to the runner. Unfortunately, the attack was wide. Seemed such a, like such a great play, but the angle. Wrong, too wide. How about the variety of attacks for Tamaru? Is it normal or does he sh seem to have a wider range of attacks? Well, she's been given quite a lot of sets so far, mm -hmm. no? in different areas in front. So it seems like there would be variety, but I think what we are seeing here in terms of execution also, no, there's that uh, consistency that, mm -hmm. that uh, lacks also. A great net defense there from Wong, who got the block. Tough set. Ball up here for Kim Bakbaknin. A chance for Kurashki. They go to Tamaro again. Ooh. This is variety, that's what she's saying. She's making up right away for, uh, you know, the, those errors prior. Such a clean hit. Also with the... Uh, Close to no blocker. You know, mabot yung uh, blocker ng uh, kin back back nin. Credit Amura Wako for that setup. Now it is 12 serving 14 in set number one. Here's semi finals action between Kurashi and kin back back nin. Our two guest teams. They will have a busy schedule ahead with our semi finals stretching to Friday next week. Back from the opposite. Ball deflected. Kaoru will set things up. Opposite on the other end, and that's a point for Taniguchi Saya. You see what they're trying to do, no? Just making sure right now they get a good distribution of the sets. They probably have recognized how good the blocking is of uh, Kin Bakbakmin. At least so far, not a challenge sila sa net, so they cannot be as predictable. Well, six players have scored now for Team Japan, with Tamaru leading the way. Four points for her. Check ball. Powerful hit by Suan. Suan is the second ultimate veteran for Vietnam in terms of age, born 1994. They actually have a player born 2007, and curious as to whether or not she will be fielded as we got to see a point for Taniguchi. Again, this is what they say, you know, a good mix of uh, experience and youth. Of mm -hmm. course, youth brings a different kind of energy, while the veterans, of course, yung experience, yung uh, uh, knowledge, no? mm -hmm. and the adjustments uh, in game. Tram with a setup. Oh, that one, she was under the ball. Obviously, way overboard for Kim Bakbaknin. So we're tied 15 all. Approaching the second technical timeout. Tamaru on the serve. Tram will go to the quick. And a quick point as well 
for win one. Second technical timeout, 16-15. Come and watch the best basketball players in the globe and cheer them on live inside the venues. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 single game pass is now available for as low as 499 pesos. Get your tickets at SM Tickets, Ticketnet, or Philippines-Ticketing.WorldCup.Basketball. Well, right now we are also witnessing international caliber of play inside the Phil Sports Arena in terms of uh, having a team from Vietnam and Japan. There you see Risa Sato enjoying the action after winning in their previous game now, for Creamline versus Signal HD. There's the combination for Japan rejected by Kin Bakbak Min. Tram to the quick, Karu was there. Omura this time to the opposite and that's a point for Taniguchi Saya. Now we have the first sub in this matchup. It is Watanabe Ayane coming in for Hata Miyaha. So she would be the service specialist for Kurashi. There's the serve. Tram. Combination. Ooh. There was a check. And it seems that uh, Suan, that is her go-to, getting uh, points off the blockers. 17 to 16, we've been exchanging points here. Both teams not allowing their opponent to pull away, get a big lead. Yeah, the biggest lead was just two for each of our teams. Okay. Yano, ball up. Omura to the opposite. That was Taniguchi. Tram, 1-2. And that's a point. Catching the defense of Kurashi, uh, Kurashki. Off guard. Getting that second ball. All right. So we go back with Kin Bakbaknin. 18-16, tying the largest lead for today so far. Regalo, ball up by Karu. Another gift. Still no point. Iano tried to go down the line. There was a check. And now we will witness the first challenge in this volleyball game. It is by Kin Bakbakvin. Well, let's see if uh, the challenge will be successful. It's actually... The challenge was on whether or not it was in or out. Is that right? It seems like it. Yep, ball in or out challenge. But the ball was a check, right? Interesting, uh, yeah, interesting challenge. Challenge. It's obviously out. It seemed like, yeah, they they put up the wrong side. Yeah, could be. That might be another factor, no? And them getting used to the challenge system here in the Philippines. Of course, it all happened so fast. You gotta. 
ensure, of course, that you have the right uh, thing to challenge. You have been uh, confused there. See, so the, the, she was reaching for the block touch, mm -hmm. but uh, I think a bit of confusion there. Oh, so they, they're going to challenge again. They're going to use their second challenge. So it was a mistake. Yeah. On the first, mistake. on the first uh, challenge. Again, we can't blame them too much, folks. This is their first game in the PBL. Under the bright lights, the Phil Sports Arena. I actually want to ask you, Anne, uh, in terms of the identity of this game so far, the styles of our two teams, have they met your expectations? Well, I think for, for both these teams, again, we've uh, established how they are a mix mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, veterans and uh, really young players. And they're also looking at uh, showcasing. As we look at this uh, block yeah, there was touch, touch, there seemed to be a uh, touch right on the picky finger. So a successful... Uh, unsuccessful challenge. Uh, unsuccessful, rather. So going back to your point about the mixture of youth and mixture veterans. Mixture of youth and, and veterans. So I think they're also looking, right, at, at upping and improving uh, their uh, gameplay here in the PVL. But uh, we see, no, yung uh, calibre or the talent that both these teams have. Now we just saw the talent once again coming from Win Wong. She has scored five points so far to lead the way for Kin Bak Bak Din. Behind her is Su Anle with four. Here comes Japan on the tip. Get the live. Omura this time to Yano. Ball deflected. Ooh. Ooh. What happened there? Is Too it eager. An yeah. Too eager. So that violation was on Yano Yukino. That reaching for that uh, ball while uh, one had it set. Service there from Vietnam's Ngoc. And out on the attack was Japan. So these errors. Now allowing Kin Bak Bak Nin to uh, enjoy a bigger lead. This is the largest lead that we have seen so far. Four points, 21-17. Bit of a quiet huddle there for the Horashia Blaze squad after a 5-1 to one run for Kin Bak Bak Nin. Break it down for us once again and what have you seen in the past couple of sequences in favor of Vietnam? You know, a lot of errors happening on the side of Kurashiki Ablaze, really costing them. Look at this. Even on uh, their first ball, which earlier in this set, they were passing so well, mm -hmm. now also becoming a uh, challenge for them. So they're unable to set up place. Look at that. And, uh, you know, Kim Bak Bakhnit just really taking advantage there at the net. Which has been a theme in this game for Kim Bak Bakhnit. The net defense for them. Iano, ball deflected. There's the net defense once more. Cham onto the lefty attack. Kauru, back to Iano. And is there a check? No check. Are they going to challenge this? Called yes. by our uh, first referee. And now this will be the first challenge of Kurashki. <laughs> now they're consulting Anna Rimulakanda if they got the right, uh, <laughs> right signage. You just have to love the courtesy of our coaches and players. They're all very kind. So it's a challenge on the block touch. This is actually pretty crucial, right? It seemed like, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, there was a finger that uh, moved, so it was a good call. Challenge successful for Kurashki. What they needed right now, again, as we've mentioned no, at the start of this first set, walang lumalayo masyado, but uh, here in uh, the latter part of the first set, seems like uh, there are challenges on the side of uh, Kurashiki Ablaze. Tamaru, back in the front row. Cham, on the pipe. Ooh, nice block. Well returned to Kurashiki. Let's see where King Bakpaknin will go. Another pipe attack. Tamaru's turn, cross. What a hammer, kept alive. There's the counter. Nice rally. Tavaru again. Yeah! And she scores. Tavaru very active in the front line. There you see the point. Great effort coming from the libero, Takahashi Kauru, leading to that point by Tavaru. She's the leading scorer of Puraski so far. Yeah, the time up. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, Anne, but it seemed like the head coach of Vietnam in Long Phan was talking to a single person. Seemed like it, but you know, it was, uh, uh, I guess, uh, pretty uh, quiet. Kung quiet yung sa Japan kanila, parang ganun din sa kanila. I mm. bet it's just, uh, you know, a few reminders from the players. Akala ko na intindihan mo eh. <laughs> no, I just had to, <laughs> you know, observe with my eyes. Oh, we have a net infraction. Does Vietnam still have a challenge left? For a net touch. Challenge number three. Vietnam. Net touch. It looks like they will be granted this challenge. We haven't seen as many net touches in this match, right? It's 22 to 19 in set number one, a matchup between two guest teams in the PVL 2023 Invitational Conference. The semifinals will continue until Friday. See what happened there. Ooh. But it was Vietnam who touched the net. But they were the ones who challenged. So the point belongs to Kurashki and now uh, Fujimura, Nana, the libero, or she was supposedly a libero, not today. Some uh, tweaks and changes mm -hmm. with uh, their position, but I think in this case, you know, they're trying to ensure that they have a strong defensive back row. At that time, as... The net defense was broken down as well by the attack of Kim Bak Bak Min. You know, for uh, Kim Bak Bak Min, at this point, nothing fancy, but most definitely they're going for uh, high percentage attackers. That was Wong who got the point for the white shirts. Omura looks and sets. Tamaro again. She was checked. Omura looks. One, two. Ooh. Tough sequence there. The chance for Kurashki. Tamaru. And that's a point. Tamaru, the go to attacker here for uh, Kurashiki Ablaze. She's up to six points, but she's had a ton of attempts. Curious as to what her percentage is in terms of efficiency. Cham on the chase. Ooh, chance now for Kim Bak Bak Nim. Champ. 
Seems like on the other end, Wong is the go-to for the white shirts. Cham again, back to Wong. Oh, and, and there's nine. the point. That's win. Wong for the point. And Ash already has eight points in this game. Only uh, here in the first set, but a good number so far. There's Wong with three set points now for Kane Bak Bak Nin. 24, serving 21. Ball up for Japan. They go to the slide. Kept alive. Off speed hit. Tamaru from the middle. Cham to the open. Libera was there. Tamaru again. Deflected. Great defense at the net. Nice rally. Tamaru. Finally the point. The blockers have been challenging her this time. She used them to their advantage to her advantage. So that was off of the right hand of Nguyen Wong. Now we have a timeout. 24-22. All right. That was a bit more animated of a huddle that we just witnessed here in the Phil Sports Arena. These two teams going down the wire, at least in the first set of this matchup. Kurashki down by two points against Skin and Bak Bak Nin. There's the serve for Japan. Ooh, it's a service ace. And the lead is down to one. Saving a set point there. You know, these uh, kinds of situation shows us the kind of character, you know, these teams have. Yung pagka na, andito na na set point na yung kalaban. Let's see how they hold on, paano yung kanilang uh, end game. Ooh, oh. that bent the corner for Vietnam, Su An Le. And so that will end it for the first set of this matchup. But before that, why not? Yeah, why not for Kurashki? Because they might as well challenge this before the set ends. The coach of uh, Japan is talking to us right now. It's Coach Hideo Suzuki. Praying for an in on the call. Mm -hmm. Or actually, was it an in? An out, no? That was out. An out. So that uh, they would get that point. This is actually a wise move for them. Why not challenge it? Ooh. Frame by frame. The suspense. <laughs> Even they are. Uh... <laughs> oh, it still fell into the line. Just a few. <laughs> that was such a fun challenge. And Japan will gladly take the result. How about the sportsmanship of these players? Bowing before they cross. Gotta love that gesture. And so, set number one belongs to Kim Bak Bak Min. They actually trailed at the start of it. Good way for them to bounce back. 25 to 23, the score in the first set.
We're back inside the Field Sports Arena for your matchup between Kurashki Ablaze and Kin Pakpaknin. And folks, new streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. And so, we are about to begin set number two for our two guest teams. I'd like to get your thoughts about set number one, Anne. Set number one, we've uh, a first glimpse actually you know, for both of these squads. Uh, we saw how they started very close. Walang lumalamang ng malayo, but uh, you know, in the initial set that we've seen, nakita natin how uh, Kin Bak Bak Nin has that strength at the net. So pagdating sa blocking, they were able to challenge uh, Japan. I think what uh, Japan lacked no, in that latter part of the first set was that they lost their first ball a bit and their defense was also quite challenged. Because if you look at the numbers in the first set, dikit na dikit when it comes to offense. 15 attack points for Kin Bak Bak Nin. Kurashiki had 16, actually, mas lamang pa. But this is what we were talking about. Four block points for this Vietnam squad. At uh, doon na challenge itong uh, ating uh, Japan team. But, you know, both teams were able to manage uh, the uh, errors that they've had. Though, uh, Kurashiki gave away one point more in terms of uh, their error. Pero I think malaking baga yung uh, net presence mm -hmm. of uh, Kin Bak Bak Nin in that first set. Would you say that the errors were spread across the first set or did they happen at the latter part? It seemed like for uh, Kurashiki, it happened at the latter part. Because that's where we saw some of uh, the uh, lapses, ano, pagating sa first balls, uh, first passes, some uh, infractions as well. They trailed by as many as five points in set number one, talking about Kurashiki. The biggest lead on the other end for Japan was two points. That ha happened early in set number one. Now, this could also be because of the adjustments, right? Mm -hmm. And the environment, the atmosphere is different. Of course, both these teams galing din yan sa biyahe. So, they, they haven't really had uh, that much chance to play here. Right. No? Dito sa ating uh, venue. Let's see how things might change here in set number two. First serve for Kurashki. Cham on to the quick. And that is a point for Fam Kui. Kui with a clean shot. They've been going for uh, more higher sets in the first set. And it's nice to see uh, faster, lower sets starting off the second set. Some wet spot here on the floor. And again, some more towels. Also, oh, most of them would have towels. Iba, iba, iba lang yung... Uh... Kung saan nakatago, no? That's nice. So we go back. It's Wong on the serve. She was the top scorer in set number one for Kin Bak Bak Nim. There's a top scorer on the other end. Tabaru for Kurashki. Amura will set up. Tamaru again against the blockers. She scores. Tamaru continues to deliver. That's eight points now for Tamaru Asaka, born 1998. Back set. Ooh. Score. <laughs> the captain. Yeah, that was Win Wong. Let's see your production. Four points now for Wang. She's been very steady in terms of uh, delivering points, but has uh, definitely been very helpful, especially in the back row. And that catches the defense of uh, Kim Bak Bak Nin off guard. Walang nag attempt, no? The mm -hmm. ball just landed in between the two players. That's the first point for Okuda on her first appearance in this matchup. Service for Omura Wako. Battle at the net. Ooh, bit of a miscue there. J Japan with a chance to the quick again. That was Okuda kept alive. Chance ball for Kurashki. It's Okuda trying to be the spark plug. Tamaru, ball put up from the back. Oh. And that's a point for Yano Yukino. And now let's turn you over to Alexis Tinsai. And in me, 
legs, I got to talk to 22-year-old center Wako Mura of Karashki Ablaze. And she told me as a player who's been playing since seven years old, she saw that here in the Philippines, speed is the prominent factor in Philippine volleyball. That is why they had to train on speed and defense as well. More than that, she's banking on her center spiker connection with her older teammates. And with only a one-hour practice, according to Wako earlier, let's see if they can keep up with Hin Back Back Nin. Don't forget to subscribe to the Pilipinas Live Ball app for 99 pesos. Let's boomerang back to the panel. Thank you, Alexis, for that report. Now we have to talk about speed because Alexis has mentioned it, and it's about Japan. <laughs> But our, you know, our, they, our, they do recognize that Philippine volleyball is all about speed. Yeah. Kaya nga daw, yun yung kanilang pinagahandaan. Isn't Japan also known for speed? Well, what we know for Japan, they have very good basics. It's not about power, eh. Mm -hmm. Sa kanila, usually, you see these uh, fast plays. And uh, quite interesting, actually, also, no? the adjustment. Because what uh, Alexis has mentioned in that report, they've only had one hour right. of uh, training as well. So ito yung nabanggit din natin kanina, could be some adjustment because they have just arrived. Uh, you know, it's their first time playing, mm -hmm. I guess, in, in the venue. And then prior to this, very little time to train. So it's going to be interesting how they can continue to improve for this coming week as we saw a point courtesy of Su An Le, the second leading scorer of Kim Bak Bak Nin. She had a double block in front of her but found the perfect angle to get the ball through. Six points now for Su An Le. Just two points behind the leading scorer in Nguyen Huong. Ball straight to the libero. Ooh, nice read at the net for Triple Vietnam. Triple block. Yeah. Triple block. No way, no way for the ball to get through. And you did mention that was basically the biggest difference in set number one. That was off of the hands of Ngauk. That's Win Ngauk. Approach there. For Cham, oh. Redwell, and Block on the other end. A bit too soft on that approach for uh, number eight. Nguyen Ngok. Yeah, it's Nguyen Ngok. Now serving is Okuda. Ball up is received. That was Wong on the approach. Open hit. Oh, what a dig by the libero. Wong Ooh. again. Check that ball out. That deserves a second look. Hits the blocker, but the angle working in favor of uh, the Vietnam squad. So now, Kin Bak Bak Nin has a one point lead. Umura, back set. Oh. Nice. What How's, a find for Taniguchi. How can you get that? One of the faster returns that we've seen. Absolutely no blockers. No blockers, her. no defense as well. Landed on the right spot. Oh, a misreceive. Oh. That's an ace for Taniguchi, Saya. A reception error from the captain. And that was a tough serve to receive as well. It was a floater. Mm -hmm. Quick. Ball saved by Taniguchi. That was Yano on the attack. Kabiranaman, it's Wong. Great effort by the libero. Pipe. And no more save there for Vietnam. Samaro again who scored for Japan. And that will send us to the first technical timeout of set number two, eight to six.
Folks experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block on any device, anytime, anywhere via Pilipinas Live. Download the app now and subscribe for only 99 pesos per month. Right now, we are inside the Fifth Sports Arena for your matchup between Kurashki Ablaze and Kin Bakbaknin, our two guest teams in the Invitational Conference. Omura with the back set. Nice block for Wong, but it's kept alive. A chance for Vietnam. Wong read well. Cham onto the pipe this time. Push. Libero to the open. And that is a point for Japan's Yano Yukino. Much better start here for uh, Kurash Diablaze. There's the push. And the setup by Oshima Kyoka. Sorry, that was Takahashi Kaoru, the libero. Cham, back to Wong. Ball up. Omura, one, two. Nice find. Great call there by Omura. Was that her second one, too? I believe so. And there you see the Japanese team enjoying at the sideline. Wonder what they're chanting. We have a timeout here for Vietnam. <laughs> I think, you know, we, of course, we don't understand, but obviously from the body language, there's a bit of frustration there in terms of uh, the turnout of uh, this uh, second set. Mm -hmm. They're down by four, not uh, exactly the situation they want to be in, and that error also not helping their cause. This is now the biggest deficit that they have faced in this match. I'm talking about Kin Bakbaknin, tying their largest lead mm -hmm. in the first set. And we have a substitution, Mi. Fan is actually in. Now she replaced their leading scorer in Wong. Let's see what she can do. There she is. That was me on the attack. And the counter by Kui Fam. There's this urgency for them to score more points. I believe that uh, yung ask sa kanila, no, hindi pwedeng lumayo ng ganito. They did get the first set. It's a bit close. They pulled away in the latter part. But uh, they cannot let uh, Kurashki ablaze get such a big lead. But Bumabawi. Oh, Kurashi's really looking good here. That was Yano Yukino scoring her seventh point. She is the second leading scorer of Japan behind Tamaru. Now, what they're missing in that last score, hindi nakahabol yung middle block, leaving only one blocker there. So, Yano will serve. Ball in. Straight to the captain of Vietnam, and a point again coming from Kui Pham. Good first ball here. Look at this setup. Excellent timing there. We go back with Kin Bak Bakin serving 8 to 12. Jump serve. That was coming from Mi Fan. Open. That was Tamaro again. He was outside. This could be the golden opportunity for Kin Bak Baknin to storm back. You might be hearing some chants from their side, Goling, which means fighting, and Mo Ipun, which means one more time. Very interesting yeah. to hear at the sideline. <laughs> and a big shout out to our producers who has made it happen for us, you know, receiving, made us receive this, these statements coming from Vietnam. There's the attack from Japan. It's Amaro again. 
The blocks have, have worked for Kin back back in the first set, but it seems like they are uh, struggling a bit on uh, the net defense here in the second set. And more so, itong Japan looks like uh, they're getting a good read now on the offense of uh, Kin back back in. You think it was just a matter of time for them? It could be some adjustment maybe in uh, the first set. Oh, look nice at that. block right on cue. The rejection it, came from Tamaru. And we did see the stats in the earlier set. Four block points for Kin Bak Baknin. Walang nakuhang block point ang uh, Japan. But again, look at this solid single block. That's three block points now in the set for Kurashki Ablaze. It's 15 serving nine. That's now the newest, biggest lead in this game. Scramble, Tamaru on the attack. Pull up by the libero, set up, strong hit, a great dig, battle at the net, scramble again, a chance for Kurashki, Amura, and to oh. their lefty, and that's a point for Okuda. Great target for Okuda. How about Okuda? She's been a spark, four points, after not playing in set number one. We have a technical timeout, 16 to 9. Good afternoon, PVL fans. You're live here in the Phil Sports Arena, and here with me is Sato San of the Green Line Cool Smashers. And indeed, this is a special interview. Ayan. Risa wanted to ask, lang, kamusta yung performance ng Korashki Ablaze? Oh, parang siguro ang galin nila yung receive. I see yung Japan talaga. Magalin sila receive, so. Oh, tingin natin, parang. Basta ang galing nila. <laughs> and you know what, may chika ako sa'yo. Actually, napanood daw niya, nila kayo sa YouTube. At ang galing-galing daw ng Pink Girls. Ano nang pakiramdam? Oh my God. Ay, parang may impression naman. <laughs> uh, laban naman. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> and you know what, definitely, Risa, talaga kung sila fans mo, talagang kanina yung fans yung sobrang dami din. So, anong pwede mong sabihin sa mga fans na nagsusupport ng Cream Line Cool Smashers? Hi, mga fans! Um, thank you for support us. And uh, may game kami Tuesday. Please watch po kayo. Love you! <laughs> thank you very much, Risa. There you have it. Let's go back to the panel. Thank you, Alexis. Always an entertaining interview when it comes to uh, having Risa Sato on board. And might I say, she's come a long way in terms of her English <laughs> and Tagalog. As we get to see a block here, courtesy of Vietnam's Kui Pham, and also it's Nguyen Wong. Right now, they need seven points. They need a flawless game from this point on to at least match the uh, score of uh, Kurashki. At the net, almost won by Vietnam. One more chance on the back set. That was Wong. Amura to the open. Tamaru. Ball up. Team captain on the attack. Ball kept alive. Amura. Cross that ball up to reach Tamaru. What a setup. Interesting front row as well here for Kin Bak Bak we, we have here number eight, Mok Win, one of the younger players yes. that we actually have on the squad. She's born 2006. And, and you see the way she moves, ano, medyo awkward pa, but uh, really very tall. Well, that's what, 16, 17 years old? And she's already able to play in Re another country. Really good exposure. And folks, she's not the youngest. Meron pang born 2007 itong Vietnam, no? Na hindi pa naglalaro. Jersey number 22. 
She's actually a libero. Uh, this is what they say, you know, a mix of young and uh, older players. Mm -hmm. Tip there. Tough save. Not saved according to our first referee. The lead continues to uh, balloon here. 19 to 11. Now, Risa Sato mentioned the receive of Kurashki. I'd like to get your thoughts about that. Well, we did mention that in the first set. The reason why they uh, were keeping it very, very close. Ang ganda ng kanilang uh, first ball, even their defense was actually quite good. But they kind of lost it. Mm -hmm. It was not as consistent at the latter part. But here in the second set, definitely uh, much, much better for uh, Kurashiki Ablaze. To go alongside the net defense, which you have mentioned as well. I think it's the adjustment also, no? getting more comfortable playing here at the venue. Hey, look at them smile, right. more relaxed also. You have a timeout, 20 to 11. If you're in the Bak Bak Min, what's number one on your to-do list right now? Well, you know, I think first keep the ball alive. Uh, by the way, is that your family? Oh yeah, my family is uh, here <laughs> watching the game. How about Pero that? Parang <laughs> busy, sa... busy, busy na sila. They did watch uh, the earlier game as well. Mm -hmm. There's a push from Vietnam, well kept alive by Kurashki. Scramble there. Looks like the libero was hurt. That's Zam Toa. Penny Gucci. Ball sent back. Oh. Omura tried to find another hole in the middle of the defense. And oh, look at that. The youngest player on the floor gets to score. So let's introduce her. That's Nguyen Ngoc. A bit Vietnam. awkward on, on that uh, return, but nonetheless a point. You think her height is the biggest factor as to why she's a part of this team? I think so, and I think she's really being given playing time, you know, mm -hmm. exposure, uh, good learning experience for young players. We go back with Kin Bakbaknin on the serve. That was Le Suan. So approached by Yana Yukino, and there's a net touch. Oh, things are really not going well for uh, Kin Bakbaknin here in the second set. You did mention when I asked the number one thing on their to-do list is to keep the ball alive. Did Just you want to add anything more? <laughs> well, keep the ball alive, I think. And what uh, had really helped them in the first set is their offense. But, you know, they seem to be a bit more challenged in this set dahil nabuhay yung blocking mm -hmm. ng uh, Kurashiki ablaze. How about their blocking themselves? At this point, we don't see much of it. So uh, they have three block points in the set. Tabla na sila ng Japan, no? Again, it was four to zero in set number one. That was the biggest difference. But again, it is a uh, oh, that was a strong hit to the head. Still a good ball, part of the game. Amura with the setup, and that's going to be a point for Yano Yukino. Oh, it's actually a net touch. The woman who got hit was Chu Niok. You know, it's part of the game. They're laughing it off yeah. on the side. Yeah, it, it was a good ball. Kahit sa ang parte ng katawan naman pwede. na pwede tumama. Oo, no? kahit mag-heading ka, pwede. Minsan nga, sumisipa. Pwede yan. Some, some players you would see, you know, if they, they would run after a ball na malayo, ginagamit yung paa. Mm -hmm. Approach here for Vietnam. Oh, what a great target. Point for Fan Mi. Mi so, saw that uh, opening in the middle. The difficult part is that they will need a lot more of that. 
and uh, they need to play flawless volleyball from this point on because uh, Kurashiki is just two points away from closing this set. 14 serving 23, Omura on the back set. Nice tip on the other end by Hiraoka. Keeping it simple. Now Tamaru will check back in. He's back in the front row. You know, such a big shift in how uh, our Japan team is uh, playing as opposed to their first set. Even the breaks of the game actually going their way, Migs. With that's a little a bit of help. Right. Saneta, no? I would even say that's a lot of help from the net. As it really caught the defense off guard. Exactly in the middle where there was a hole. Set up here. Not the best timing. Tamaru, off speed. Put up. Me. Back to Omura. Tamaru again, off of the blockers. And that will do it for set number two. A comfortable win, at least for that set, for Kurashki of Blaze. 25 to 14. See the last point. Not the strongest of hits, but well enough for Tamaru Asaka to score for Kurashki. We'll be back for set number three. New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. All right now, we are tied one set apiece for Kurashki Ablaze and Kin Bakbaknin. That is Japan versus Vietnam, practically speaking. Here for your 2023 Premier Volleyball League Invitational Conference. And so, and how did Kurashki turn things around in set number two? You know, things are really uh, going well on their side. We've seen how uh, uh, improved no, the overall game was for uh, Kurashiki Ablaze. Kita natin din, no? in the first set, we did mention how they were challenged by the net defense of uh, uh, Kin Bakbaknin. But, you know, in the second set, nila yan. They, uh, they also did uh, their work at the net, uh, challenged the attackers of, uh, of uh, Kin Bakbaknin at that point. Uh, but overall, I think yung pinag-uusapan natin, receive as well as uh, receive nila. Starts from the receive, that's why they were able to deliver um, good numbers, no? attack points, 16 attack points as opposed to only nine para dito sa ating Vietnam squad. Blocking was a big factor in the first set para sa ating Vietnam squad. Pero ngayon, natapatan ng ating uh, Japan team. And on top of that, they also challenged no, yung uh, playmaking of Kin Bakbaknin. They scored three aces in that last set. But what's good, I guess, ano, if you look at the numbers here, hindi ka anong marami yung giveaway points. They were able to minimize it at two and three for uh, both uh, squads. It was a long set number two, though, that we witnessed 35 minutes as long as uh, the set first number set. one. Yeah. But the score was lopsided. Now, the question, especially for Kane Bakbaknin, is can they turn things around again to their favor? They did field in some younger players. In, of course, Win Ngao was in the ball game in set number two. They had a younger setter in Win Ha. 
Uh, it looks like they're back to their starting setter in Le Cham. She's the one who's about to serve now for Vietnam. The second set, they had uh, poor delivery when it comes to uh, offense. Only nine points uh, scored off their attacks. A uh, big difference no, from how they performed in the first set. All right, set number three now begins inside the Field Sports Arena. This is Mix Gomez alongside Anne Remulia Kanda and Alexis Tinsai at your service for the last game, for today at least. And there's an error. Uh, not a good start, I, I should say, for uh, Kinback Bak Nin. So it was an overreach. And uh, you know, you unang umpisa nila no the reception or first ball so that they can set up the place. Tamaru. That's a point. That was a check on that hit. You see a different body language now on the side of uh, the ladies in red. Yeah, they're. It seems like they're rejuvenized now here in set number three. And why not? It was a good turnout in the second set. At sa lagay na yung good vibes na rin sila nung set number one. Oh, good so vibes even na. more good vibes to. But uh, ito on the side of Kinback Baknin, it will be a test of character mm -hmm. also. Tama ka, no? Paano yung bawe and how fast or how quick they can turn things around, turn things in their favor here in the third set. Tough save. That was by Thua. And here comes Japan. Tamaro again on the approach. Oh, too Outside. long. Outside. No check. Siguro what is needed also at this point, a bit of intimidation to uh, on the side of uh, Kin Bak Bak Nin. Konting intimidation no, para dito sa Kurashiki Ablaze. Tamaru, check that the net. They went to the lefty in Okuda. Ball kept the light champ to the open. Lefty push. Great net defense by Japan. Another tip. Kaoru. Back to Tamaru. Cross. And that's 15 points now for Tamaru Asaka. Excellent cross court angle for Tamaru. Look at this. Avoiding the uh, double block in front of her. Now we really have to get her percentage. She's 14 out of 47. She's seen that many attacks already in this match of 30% efficiency for Tamaru. As now Vietnam scores. We'll, we'll be needing more of that points coming from the captain. Look at that convincing and very clean hit. That was by Win Wong. Serving is the middle blocker. Pham Kui. Well put up. Taniguchi did not see the line. And no touch as well. And now, let's listen in to Alexis Tinsai who has a report for us. Ann and Migs, more about the Kane Hiraoka middle blocker from the Fukuyama Heisei University in Japan shared to me that volleyball has been for passion since she's been playing since 10 years old in elementary school. She also shared to me that since their visit here in the Philippines solely for this season, she'd want her team to come again next year, not just to play, but to go around sightseeing and also visiting the beaches. And for this game, we can elevate the match by downloading the Filipinas Live app for only 99 passes per month. Let's go back to the panel. Oh, you have to love that. These players already enjoying the sights here in Metro Manila. Metro Manila pa lang yun, mm -hmm. <laughs> But uh, Alexis did mention no, the intent to in the future visit the beaches as well. Yes. Right? Oh, they're gonna have to come uh, at the best time of the year. Rainy season pa tayo na yun. Oh, oh, Strong hitch. Ito, raining uh, attack points. Oh, I like that. <laughs> mm, good sego, yeah. <laughs> that was Danny Gucci Saya. Nice back set over there. And ito yung nagiging problema ngayon ng uh, uh, Kinback Bak Nin. Yung kanilang uh, net defense is their strength. Pero hindi nakakahabol. No? That was a single block actually. Uh, scored off because there was just one blocker. So we're tied now. Five all here in set three. A misreceive by Thua. 
Yano. They have a new center now in Fujimura. Attack from the open. Ball put back. Champ. Balik na naman. Kay Suan. The other end. Fujimura. Yano. Off of the blockers. See the numbers of Yano. She's now up to 10 points. The second leading scorer for Kurashki. It is six serving five. Akuda back at it. Did not see action in set number one, but definitely impressed a lot of people in set two. Just not in that sequence as he got to see a point from the youngster on the other end. Look at this attempt. Good uh, quick set. Again, just a single block. Point belonged to Nguyen Gauk. Now it's a service error coming from Le Suan. Seven to six. It's looking a bit more like set number one. Exchanging points. Chase by Cham. And there's the leading scorer of Vietnam in Wong. We've uh, missed her a bit. But uh, she's going on aggressive here in the third set. And you are right, no? this is more like what we've seen in the first set. Na dikit itong uh, dalawang teams. But you know, it is a crucial third set. Of course, for both squads winning one set apiece, it's important for them na makalamang. And uh, to get that uh, advantage of winning two sets. This time it's Japan on the attack. Great setup by Fujimura on the Yano. Deceiving the blockers of Kin Bat Bat Nin. Is there going to be a challenge? Doesn't seem to be. And so we approach the first technical timeout of set number three. your PVL semifinals action. We are inside the field sports arena for Kurashki Blaze and Kin Bak Baknin. Folks, come and watch the best basketball players in the globe and cheer them on live inside the venues. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 single game pass is now available for as low as 499 pesos. Get your tickets at SN Tickets, Ticketnet, or philippines-ticketing.worldcup.basketball. There you see the attack efficiency of Tamaro Asaka. 30%. Is that high? Is that low for you, Anne? Well, I think for uh, we've seen um, higher percentages, but at least for uh, this game, most definitely, no? Um, isa na siya dun sa nakikita natin na high efficiency. And that's going to increase a bit as she just scored with an off-speed hit for Japan. A standing hit at that, no? Hinabol lang just to make sure they don't waste that ball. Bit of a wet spot on the court. Nine serving seven now in favor of Kurashki Ablaze. They lost set number one in a close manner. Then they dominated in set number two, carrying on their momentum here in set three. Champ to their leading scorer. That's wide coming from Huang. And if I may talk about Huang for a bit here, we did see her with eight points in the opening frame. Only had one point in set number two and two points so far in set three. Well, she had definitely slowed down overall. The team no? didn't really produce much offense. But I guess dahil nahirapan din sila sa first ball, eh, they yeah. couldn't really uh, set up plays. 
He did mention the numerous aces as well in set two for Japan. It's another point for Tamaru. And that will force or at least trigger the to the quarter time. How about the body language of the Vietnamese players? Do you think this is a big source of concern now for the squad? I think so, but you you know, in, in that huddle also, no, when they ended, you see the captain also like shaking her mm -hmm. head and saying, Siguro in Tagalog, or if we would look at her body now, she bawi tayo, parang ganun. Dahil, you know, this is um, uh, now getting into that situation again where lumalamang itong uh, Kurashiki ablaze, and uh, that's something, of course, that they would like to avoid. Tough chase there by Fujimura. Attack from the opposite, ball up on the miss dig, cross, great effort by Kaoru to keep that ball alive. Batten at the net, was there a touch? There was a net infraction, but uh, on the side of uh, Kurashiki, a blaze. I think the napagilan yung momentum going into the net. Let's see what happened here. There oh, you yeah. go. It was on Tamaru. Oh, she, did, she did not argue anymore. But now Japan will challenge the net touch. Tavaro's laughing right now. Well, it could be a question of who touched the net first. Yeah. She did touch the net. Siguro yung tanong, baka na una yung kabila. Oh. Oh, Tamara's having a word now with his head coach, but with her head coach. It seemed like she was saying, oh, tumama. Tumama uh -oh. yung kanyang the finger. <laughs> Well, good by Snap on Sinadita sa ating Field Sports Arena. They're up by four points. They definitely have momentum, right, Matt? They do, and uh, they also have this lead. It seems like uh, the second set momentum uh, is carried on for them. Let's see if there is a net touch indeed. No. Seems like... Uh, it was really Tamaru. It was really Tamaru. <laughs> That's why she was laughing the whole time. There you see. But you know, again, in volleyball, pag ganyang may mga infractions, no, it, it depends again. Sino yung unang so, oh. na, nakatouch ng, uh, ng net? There have been some wild challenges where in, <laughs> kala mo, talo ka na. Might as well, and then you still are able to win it. Oh, good hustle on that one. Doesn't make it, though. That's another point for Kurashki Ablaze. You know, here yung test on the side of uh, Kin Bak Bak. How to keep their composure. At this point, I think they're trying to figure out how they can score those points. Pero it looks a bit disorganized for them at this point. You see them uh, struggling to uh, execute a good play. Again, it all comes from a good first pass mm -hmm. muna. The they have strong attackers. We've seen it earlier. You know? Yung uh, attack points in the first set was 15 and 16 for both these teams. Bumaba nung second set. But uh, they have the material. They're just not able to set up. So it's not a matter of the setter not finding the right uh, attackers. Because as you mentioned, it starts with the first ball. It starts with the first ball, of course. At nahihirapan yung setter na umabol. Fujimura onto Tamaru. Ball deflected. Cham to the open. Cross works. And that is a point for Lesuan. It's only a two point game, folks. Coming to life is uh, the ladies in white. They cannot let Kurashiki Ablaze get. A big lead. Mm -hmm. it, the, the second set is a situation they do not want to happen again. Tamaru was blocked. Now that's definitely a good sign for Kin Bak Baknin. Again, that is a strength that we've seen from this squad in the first set. Now back to life. Look at that great block. He's like hitting straight into a wall. 
That is the first block point in this set. And the fourth block point for number seven of Vietnam in Nguyen Wong. Fujimura back to Tamaru. Down the line this time. Ball outside. And just like that. Just like that, and we're tied at 12. You cannot afford these errors. You cannot afford to relax. Twelve all, one set apiece. It's Wong serving. The leading scorer with 11 points for Kin Bakbaknin. Fujimura back to Tamaru. Cross, yes. Magandang bawe. Look at that. Fearless of the double block in front of her. The other end. Can someone answer that? No. Great rejection by Akuda. It was Akuda and Taniguchi working together at the net to reject that attack. Fujimura on the serve. Cham, back set this time. Push. And that's a block point for Japan. Definitely working at the net. Not just on offense. Look at them. Yung sipag, no? Talagang hinahabol. Yung uh, attackers on the side of Kin Bak Bak Nin. Tamaru to try to reach 20 points. Not yet. Open attack. Ah. That's Suan. Oh, it's Save. still kept alive. Great effort by Japan. Ooh, there's a check. Point for Kui. We haven't seen a lot of those sets in the middle, but again, dahil nga yan, no, sa kanilang uh, first uh, ball. That's uh, the save that we saw earlier. And uh, this point with a touch. 13 serving 15. Taniguchi with a tip. Ball kept alive. Set to the other side. The better was there. Taniguchi again. Strong hit. That was off of Wong. I like that change up in terms of uh, target angle. All of a sudden went uh, down the line. And that will send us to the second technical timeout of set number three. We're back inside the Field Sports Arena for your matchup between Kurashki Ablaze and Kin Bak Bak Nin. Japan versus Vietnam for your PVL Invitational Conference in 2023. This is Mix Gomez alongside Andre Muliakanda and Alexis Tinsai. We go back with the leading scorer of Kurashki, Tamaru Asaka. 19 points so far for her. Cham, back to Suan Le. Ball kept alive. Opposite this time around. Great defense by Fujimura. That was Taniguchi. Read well by the floor defense. Ooh, scramble. Chance ball. Fujimura. On to the middle. That was Okuda. Less one. Great for defense. Same goes on the other end for Thwa. Longest rally in the set so far. 
Lenny Gucci at the net. That's a touch on Vietnam. What a way to end that rally. Seventeen thirteen now. The mistake was made by Win Lauk. One of uh, the younger, we, we did talk about her, one of the younger players. 16 years old. Where were you when you were 16? Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me walk College back in time. College Di ba high school, high school. High school pa yan. He's that young. Jam to the open. There's one. Fujimura turns around. Set up Tamaru as usual. Ooh. So and again, wow, what a dig by the libero. That was Takahashi Kaoru. Ball sent back. Kaoru looking. Onto Yano. Ball deflected. Kept alive. Cham. Opposite attack. And that is a point for team captain. Win Wong. We don't see much sets for her, but when she does get it, she gets a point. Now we're going to have to see her efficiency. The team captain for Vietnam in win one. Watanabe will check back in. So that's her third defense. It's been a trend though that when Tamaru gets to the back, there's a big chance that she can be subbed out. Uh, gets a breather, a much uh, deserved breather also. Sa dinami rami ba naman ang atake niya? Oo, sa dami ng opensa, sa dami ng tinalon. Alright, 14, serving 17. This is the young setter for Vietnam in Wing Ha. Attack from the middle. Kuda tried to score, not yet. Ooh, a miss hit by Fan Mi. And now, it's Kawamura Miho making her first appearance, right, in this game. More uh, substitutions. She for both teams. Huh? The setup. That's youngster to youngster. Not, uh, I'd say, uh, the best in terms of delivery, but nonetheless a point. With the help of the net, they get that point. But Nguyen Ha is a tall setter, no? She is. That is an advantage uh, when it comes to uh, blocking if she is in the front row. Ooh, strong hit by Yano on the cross. If I may go back to Nguyen Ha as we take a look at that hit by Yano. Yes, she is a tall setter. You think she's as tall as Dina Wong? Maybe taller, no? Taller pa, no? Could be. Could then be again, taller. It's hard to see because it's also relative. <laughs> relative to who she, uh, she's beside oh, oh. Sa, sa court. And Dina has told teammates in Chokomucho. Now I have to ask you, how can you compare the heights of these two teams to our local teams? I think, no, when it comes to our local teams, and dami rin naman sa ating matatangkad. Diba? So I think... Uh, Kayang ano, kayang tapatan yung mm -hmm. in terms of height. I mean, you, you see that if you look at the average height also, right, of uh, of both these squads, and we have uh, also tall players naman, no, in, in our uh, local teams. Scrambled here, Kaoru sends the ball across. Ha! Huh? To oh. the open. That's the Wong. Redwell, Yano off speed. Ha puts it up. Suan, back to Wong. Karu was there. Oh, we're getting used to these names. And Iano, the cross. And that was in. She was going for uh, the cross court hit. Got a point earlier with that. You see the spin on her hits. Eh. Bumababa talaga yung bola. Good top spin on her attacks. So Iano is now up to 13 points in this game. She has four in the set. Actually, well distributed yung points niya. 3, 5, and 4 so far. It's 20 serving 16. Yano Yukino setting that ball in. How? We'll go to the quick. Tamaru 
Ball deflected, miscue, and a chance will be given up for Kurashki. Fujimura. Ooh! Wala na. Mahirap na yun. Oh, miscue there on the side of uh, Kurashki, a blaze. It's a matter of organizing yourself and communicating sa loob, ano? but uh, reflexes at that point, mahirap na rin talaga. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a bit hard to gauge the communication level of these two teams. So, siyempre, iba naman yung style nila. Definitely, but you see, you see them talk, no? You see them uh, talk inside. Pero mahirap pa kumpara mahirap sa ating local teams. Yes. Tamaru, that attack was a bit low, but it still hit the hands of the defenders. And the ball lands out, so still a point for them. It's now 21-17. Yung bawi yung hinahanap natin dito para sa kinback back nina. No, it, it seems like they're having a difficult time getting those points in and mm -hmm. organizing themselves. You will only get one point at a time, right? It's that consistency we are looking for. Yano, Tamaro again. That's oh. long. Nasa ilalim siya ng uh, bola. That last attempt. So we go back with Kim back back nin. It's Nguyen Wong. 11 points for her so far. Oh, tough set by Fujimura. Chance here for Vietnam. Champ to the opposite, and that's a point for team captain Win Wong. You know, they will be needing more of that. We did mention how uh, she is very efficient when she gets the sets. There's the attack of the blockers against Tamaru. Blocker at that. A single coverage. They have a timeout. Twenty one to nineteen folks in set number three. It's as close as set number one in this matchup, which was won by Kin Bak Bak Nin before the domination in set two for Japan. Just two points for Vietnam to tie. His third set. Serving is number five. Win Wong serving. Straight to Yano. And here's Tamaro again. Yes. It was that same angle she was going for earlier, but went out. And there are no defense for the Vietnam squad. Just a wide opening between two defenders. 21 points now for Tamaru. The other end, that was wide on the attack. Always Captain Wong. a tricky uh, angle to go for. Not helping their cause at the moment. Ito yung sinasabi natin, the end game, how you turn around uh, the situation. They're having a difficult time really, you know, bringing things in their favor. At least here in uh, the third set, that is what we are seeing. Interesting formation as well, no, Anne, sa huddle ng Vietnam. It's basically a big circle. At malayo-layo yung coach nila. Oh, let's see, though, if that uh, last huddle would help them. Of course, all these points are welcome coming from the error, service error on the side of uh, Kurashiki Ablaze. Fujimura immediately apologized to coach Hideo Suzuki. And now the younger setter returns for Kinbak Baknin in Nguyen Ha. The one who's serving now is Pham Kui. 
Ball up by the libero, Takahashi Kaoru. Ooh, strong hit for Tamaru. Ball back with Japan, Taniguchi. Cham, opposite. And is that in? No. no. That was too long. It she seems like she's trying to find her um, attacks at the moment. Karamiha no ano miscalculated uh, the execution, just uh, poor. Cham, this time combination that meets the line. <laughs> Not the best read for Takahashi Kaoru. Oh, there is a challenge, seems like it. Or maybe that's why she reacted that way. Because she looked at her head coach straight up. Oh, let's see. You know, these teams haven't shied off from using the challenges in this game. That's something that you have to love, even though they're still getting used to it here in the Philippine atmosphere. I guess for them, something to take advantage of. I mean, at this point, most especially Kurashiki at 24 already. You know, nearly uh, they're closing the set. Well, this, is, this would be the most anti-climactic way <laughs> for you to win a set <laughs> with a challenge. So let's see whether the ball was in or out. Sometimes it's, it's fun to observe the faces of the players, especially the ones involved in the challenge. Well, we see them smiling at the moment. Oh. Talking to each other, smiling as they await the suspense. All right, here it is. Ooh, oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> and yes. This is the anti-climactic <laughs> way to end the third set. Challenge successful, Bochi Dev is very happy right now, giving high fives across the bench for Japan. And uh, that should explain the face of Takahashi Kaoru, who did not react as much as the ball went out. So set number three belongs to Kurashiki Ablaze, 25-20. Streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. But folks, we are approaching set number four for your matchup between Kim Bak Baknin and Kurash Via Blaze. Two team names that everybody now has to get used to, including the names on the court for the players. Now, Anne, three sets down. Now I want to get your overall observations and would you give an edge to a specific team right now here in set number four you know i think what we've seen at least no, coming from the first set we, we're seeing both teams trying to adjust mm -hmm. yung adjustment nila, but uh, what uh, the composure that we've seen at least sa larong ito, no, nakikita natin, it seems to be favoring uh, uh, our uh, japan team kurashiki ablaze so, I, I, we can't be too sure bilog ang bola palagi but uh, you know, in that last two sets, as we look at the numbers as well, no set three statistics, lamang pa rin in terms of offense, itong ating uh, team uh, hailing from Japan. 15, dumikit naman do, itong uh, Kin Bak Bakmin with 12 attack points this time around. Medyo bumabalang yung kanilang um, uh, net defense in the third set. Two block points for uh, 
the Vietnam squad isa para dito sa Japan team but uh, siguro what we saw also in the third set if they were able to minimize their errors in the prior set with just two and three errors no for both squads medyo tumaas ng konti here in uh, the third set six uh, giveaway points from uh, Kurashiki Ablaze meron namang nine na naipamigay itong kin back back din so if we are to look at it, I think pinagu nabanggit ko kanina yung composure. And, and that's very important because if you are behind, you need to be able to, you know, take the opportunity or find ways rather, you know, to score the points, makabawi agad. And uh, that is something that we saw from the ladies in red. I, I think dito sa uh, Kin Bak Bak Nin, there was a point we saw how disorganized they have become, ano? Yung pagbawi sa errors and then we saw how uh, even, maybe even communication it we talked about how it's hard to gauge, pero siguro yung communication is rin yun sa mga factors because we've seen some miscues um, on, on the floor. We've seen quite a number of offenses also coming from uh, Kurashiki Ablaze na talagang walang nag-attempt and eh. bumagsak lang no, sa side ng uh, Kin Back Back Nin. So, really looking forward to how they will try to turn things around in this very crucial uh, fourth set. Well, basically, it's win or go home now, at least for this game, for Kin Bak Bak Nin. I want to go back to the error tally. You mentioned nine errors for Kin Bak Bak Nin in set three. They only had a total of eight for sets one and two. Well, that's basically a big change right there. Vietnam with six, oh, sorry, Japan with six in set number three. They totaled eight as well in the first two sets. Scramble there. Tamaro again, what a strong hit. You know, this time using, uh, uh, or rather uh, taking advantage of uh, that younger blocker as well, going for that cross-court hit. 22 points now for Tamaru Asaka. Definitely been the go-to attacker para dito sa Japan. She's been the go-to attacker, but I think what we also fail to mention, ano, kahit na madalas nabibigay yung set sa kanya, nakikita mo yung distribution. There is variety. Uh, you get to see that uh, the rest of the frontliners also uh, get a chance to hit the ball. Let me give you some statistics. Yano has 13 points. Taniguchi with 8. And Okuda has 5 points as well off the bench for Kurashki. Fujimura, back to the leading scorer. Read well by the net defense. This time, to the pipe. That's long coming from Yano Yukino. Back row attempt. Doesn't work there for uh, Kurashki. One all now. There's Win Wong. 13 points, 11 attacks, two blocks so far. And the thing with both these teams is that they don't really have that much time to get used to, you know, the atmosphere, the 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 venue. Uh, it's very short. We have only five remaining uh, game days after today. Uh, the fifth day of which is final spa, no? So they uh, need to make sure they get adjusted uh, rather easily. So today is... Saturday, right? Today is Saturday. One they, day rest or preparation for them. If they will not train, that is. If they will not train, but most likely, no. Most likely, <laughs> they would. Eh. Nabanggit nga ni Alexis kanina, yung only training na um, nagawa, oh. at least on the side for uh, the, the Japan squad, one hour lang. Yeah. And of course, ito yung mga kailangan, ipapractice nyo paano yung strategy, positioning. Mm -hmm. Most especially, nabanggit din, they did their scouting already. Yes. No? They did watch the local opo the local teams, how they play, so therefore the adjustments and uh, yung kanilang game plan. And they're gonna have to play every game day next week, right? That's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So it's gonna be a very hectic week for... Uh, for our teams. Kaya naman, hindi pa sila pwede mag-beach. <laughs> hindi pa pwede mag-beach. Oh. Sa susunod na nga daw yung beach. Oh. <laughs> for now, it, it is the city. It's, uh, of course, uh, the game venue. Right. When they return the next time, that's when they may be able to explore mm -hmm. the beach. <laughs> Mananawa muna sila sa Field Sports oh. Arena. <laughs> it is now four serving two in favor of Kurashki Ablaze, the team from Japan. By the way, Fujimura has now become the staple as a setter for Japan. 
Oh, that one, the lifting violation called. Alam mo yung mga sumasabit sa net na ganyan, minsan yan yung mahirap kuhanin eh. Mm -hmm. Mababa na siya eh. Mababa na siya. And then if it hits the net, it gets redirected also. Right. Yung speed, uh, nagbabago yung direksyon, nagbabago. Three serving for Fujimura to the middle. Nice attack by Okuda. And now let's listen in to this nice support by Alexis Tensai. And it makes adding to the one hour practice of the Kurashiki Ablaze. They actually got to work right after they got to the Philippines to get a grasp of the Filipino way of volleyball. They had a tune up game with none other than a reinforced champions, Petrogas Angels, where they were able to test their skills and adjusted right before today's match. And this is even without their main stars, Kyoka Oshima, who is currently recovering from an injury, and Waka Omura, who is currently resting right now with a wrap left calf will be returning first to the game due to calf tightness. Which foreign team will dominate this set for? Use her hashtag, hashtag PVL2023, and go get your tweets on the broadcast. Back to the panel. All right. That's a, indeed, nice report yes. for, uh, from Alexis Tinsaya as you get to see a point on the court. Can you see the injury? The initial setter. Yes, that's why uh, she's uh, now on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. The calf down, no? Team captain Oshima Kiyoka. But also interesting that they, apart from the one hour training that uh, they've had, naka tune up game din sila. And uh, to my knowledge, from what I heard in our pre pro earlier, Z, Z Harabasha really said that okay, okay naman talaga itong Japan team na ito, no? At hindi pa sila completo, apparently. Mm -hmm. So that might make things even more interesting next week. Most especially if Japan can show us a stronger lineup. Net touch here. You know, I just really love the, what do you call this? The kindness. There should be a better term. And very responsible. Yeah. Taking responsibility of... Uh... We're pertaining to uh, the players of Japan mm -hmm. helping out you must sweepers natin with the towels. They're talking about helping out Okura, doing an excellent job right now at the net. We've uh, seen her uh, score some points. This lefty. She was the spark plug beginning set number two. And she's pretty tall. Fujimura. Yano, ball deflected, couldn't be chased anymore. By the way, that's the youngest player now on the court for Vietnam in Chan Ai. Jersey number 22 as a libero. Now we have the first technical timeout of set number four. For your PVL action between Kurashi Ablaze and Kin Bak Baknin. This is Japan versus Vietnam, practically speaking. And now let's talk about defense for these two teams. Wow, 52 excellent uh, digs for uh, Nin Bak Bak, uh, Kin Bak Bak Nin. 60 excellent digs on the other side for the ladies in red for uh, Kurashi Ablaze. <laughs> Now, this will be crucial, Migs, ha? Ito yung, as we, of course, are in, in the fourth set already, uh, we're seeing how uh, in terms of uh, offense, mukhang mas nakakalamang itong ladies in red. So defense really will uh, be a very big factor. Ooh, strong hit by Taniguchi. 
Oh, straight to the head of Lesuan. Let's take a look at that again. How about the power of these attacks that we can see? How can you describe them? You know, I think it's a good variety of uh, powerful attacks, pero may mga iba, kita mo, well calculated lang mm -hmm. eh. That's what we've seen from both teams, you know, they're power hitters, but then they vary mm -hmm. as well. I think uh, ang nakikita natin on the side of uh, Kurashiki Ablaze, they really have their targets. They, they go for certain angles, not necessarily all of the hits are strong. And likewise, dito sa side ng uh, uh, Kin Bak Bak Nin, we see that uh, some of the outside hitters would throw force into their attacks, but ganun din, may mga drop balls din tayo nakikita. Mm -hmm. Mr. Steve right there. Fujimura, back set. Straight to the team captain of Vietnam. Battle at the net. Ball up. And that is a point for Yano Yukino. Hindi pa brasuhan yung labanan. I think here, Yano going for that... Uh, and the uh, end line shot. Strong serve, misreceived, chance ball for Kurashki. Fujimura, back to Yano. Another point. Yano, so comfortable. As an outside hitter, not really minding the uh, blockers in front of her. That's two blockers. And she's not the tallest of spikers. We have a tie bout. Now, Kid Bak Bak Nin practically praying for miracles at this point because they're down by eight and obviously momentum is on the side of Kurashki. You know, we didn't understand much from that huddle, pero parang, you know, in terms of uh, how they were body language wise, yung kanilang depensa, no? it's keeping the ball alive, and I feel nagpapaalala rin ang posisyon yung uh, kanilang coach. I like the fact that you're now getting used to reading these huddles of our foreign teams. Unless there are those who understand and it can, it can interpret for us. Please tell us if tama ba interpretation. But, you know, it seems like it because that has been their problem at the moment. They're mm -hmm. unable to uh, really dig up the balls. Serve here for Fam Kui. There's a running attack. Fujimura to the middle. That was Hiroka Akane. Push from Wong. Fujimura again to the pipe this time. Quick scramble. Sky ball. Set up for Wong. Straight to Fujimura. Tamaru. And another chance. Let's see if Vietnam can capitalize. Attack on the quick. Redwell, that's close to the net. Tumawid pa. Rally continues. Wong with a push. Nice save by Fujimura. Tamaru to the open. That was Yano. Middle attack again. Ngauk was red from the back. And this one was blocked. Sipag ang tawag dyan. Hiraoka really owning the net. Not letting go of the attackers on the opposite side. Kita mo, this is a back row attack, but still. Really owning the net. Number 11, Hiraoka. Getting that block point. That's four points now in this game for Hiraoka Akari. Her first block point in this match. Kaniguchi will be serving. Change of setters on the other end. Nguyen Ha is back. The tall setter for Vietnam. Strong hit by Huang. Oh, miss you. Miscommunication. Well, they have a comfortable lead. 
Very relaxed ng ako. Uh, Did you see them smiling? No? Mm -hmm. They don't seem pressured. Uh, yeah, Fujimura was basically smiling as he tumbled on the court. Nayan talaga siya ni Tamaro, eh, no? Nahunan yung bola. Six serving 13 in set number four. That's Ha. Fujimura, the number four first appearance in this game for Japan. Tanida Sayaka. Wong, ball deflected. Fujimura chases. Tayaka again. Sorry, that was Sayaka. Taniguchi, back to Sayaka. Oh, oh, Tanida scores. Matiba yung defensa on the side of uh, Kurashiki, and they're able to convert into points. You see, they're wasting. They're not wasting any play. No more save right there from Chan Aing, who's only 16 years old, <laughs> the youngest player of Vietnam. Tanida Sayaka, first serve in this match. Strong one at that. Regalo! Regalo. An easy point for Tamaro Asaka. Dominance here in the fourth set. Yan ang ipinapakita ng Kurashiki ablaze. 25 points now for Tamaru Asaka, who's obviously going to be a marquee player come next week. Service error for Danida Sayaka. Now, as we get to see a sub here, Yana checks back in. I'll give you a question, and you can opt to not answer it. This is basically a curiosity question for everybody watching as well. If we're talking about Tamaro Asaka, is there any close comparison to her from a uh, local standpoint? Meron bang local attacker that is like Tamaro when she plays? I can give you time. Maybe one. Let's come back to that uh, question. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 16 to 7, that will send us to the second technical timeout so that we can give Andre Mulyakanda some time <laughs> to think. We'll be back. Back inside the field sports arena. Back set here for Vietnam. And that is a point, a much needed point for Win Wong. A good way to hopefully shift momentum on their side. And, you know, as one of the veterans on the side of uh, Kin Bak Bak Nin, of course, there's a lot of expectations also, hindi lang in delivering on the points, but mm -hmm. also, in, in a way, calming down the rest of the team, organizing them. Ooh, another point for Tamaro Osaka. She's now up to 28 points in this game. Just really finding uh, her way through. May nagbag may nagbago ba in her attacks? from set one to the latter sets. Well, I think it's the same, but uh, yun nga eh, at, at in the first set, there was a bit more challenge no, mm -hmm. on the side of uh, the net defense dito sa side ng uh, Kin Bak Bak Nin. But eventually, I think she found, um, she found a way to adjust and get the ball through. Minsan kahit double block, hindi na niya, hindi na niya iniinda. Just uh, really hitting the ball. Right, she doesn't force, though. No? She doesn't force. And you, you'll notice also the way she attacks, hindi lahat power. So it's that time around, there's a bit of power. Very effective for Tamaro Asaka. But it's really all about target. Targeting the right angle, targeting the right 
location where you want the ball to land. So is it easy to assume that uh, she may be described as a smart hitter? I think so. She's very efficient in that sense because it's not about getting yourself tired, you know, hitting with so much power. It's really efficiency. It's, it's uh, you know, finding yung, yung nga, like what we mentioned, no, yung tamang targets, saan magustong dalin yung bola. Mm -hmm. And you see them uh, with a variety of angles uh, to go for, that they go for rather. The scramble there, a point for Kim Bak Bak Din. But boy, the lead, or the, the lead has ballooned. It's now 9 serving 20. They're back with Nguyen Wang. Ten point six attacks, four blocks for the leader of Vietnam. Straight Ta to the libero. That was a good serve. Taniguchi's attack was a bit low. That's a point for Gin Bak Bak Nin. This is a high deficit for uh, Kin Bak Bak Nin. Ten points to at least tie it mm -hmm. no? with. Uh, Kurashiki ablaze. 10 serving 20, Fujimura to the open. Ball kept alive, missed Doug though. Tamaro again. Put up by Huang. Here's me. Takahashi put that ball up once more in that sequence. Ball to the sky. Set up to the open, me, long. It was a nice target, just landed beyond the end line. Dalawa lang depensa. There wasn't anyone on that area sa side ng Kurashiki. Tamaro Asaka now serving. 29 points so far for her. Fujimura will go to the second leading scorer, and that's a point for Yano Yukino. Yano also really good showing in today's match. 17 points. After her, it's Taniguchi and Okuda with nine points each for Kurashki. Tamaro Asaka at the service line. Ball up by the libero. That was Twa. Kabila tayo. Fujimura. Back set. Oh! And a point for Taniguchi. High efficiency here in the delivery of attacks for the ladies in red. And good distribution of sets as well. Huh? You see them uh, all involved. Service error, though. Let's ask for the setting numbers of Fujimura. 11, 23. You know, you gotta appreciate the distribution. No? We, we, we do mention uh, Tamaru's name a lot, but uh, also you see that uh, the other players get a chance to really um, hit the ball. We're gonna see a new player here. It's Takahashi wearing jersey number 14 to serve for the match. Oh, that was a sharp one. Ball kept alive here by Japan. Fujimura with eight excellent sets so far. And that will end it. A point for Yano Yukino to win the game for Turashki Ablaze. Great showing in uh, today's game. What a way also for them to win this match with such a convincing uh, win here in the fourth set, really limiting Kin back back in with only 11 points. So again, do you think it was just a matter of time for them to get their game, get their groove? It was good progression for uh, the ladies in red. I'm talking about uh, Kurashiki ablaze. The progression we saw, the improvement in terms of uh, how they played in the first set, up to how they ended in the last set. This is the end game. Mm -hmm. na hinahanap ng kanilang uh, coach. Great sportsmanship between our two teams as we welcome them to our PBL Invitational Conference. Final score.
There you see it, three sets to one. We've lived this game and all PBL games and stories anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. We'll be back to wrap this game up. Final score, three sets to one in favor of Kuraski Ablaze. And our best player of the ball game, Tamaro Asaka, is now with Alexis Tinsai. They're getting ready for an interview. The first interview with a foreign player here in our PBL Invitational Conference. Now they're ready. Alexis, go ahead. Mixon and here with me is player of the game for the Kurashiki Ablaze, Tamaro Asaka. Congratulations! And you know what, Tamaru, how do you feel about your first game here in the PVL? Kamusta yung paglaro against Vietnam? えっと、相手チームはやっぱり海外のチームとあんまりやったことがなかったので、日本のチームとは違う攻撃だったりとか、日本目のプレーだとかっていうのがあったんですけど、そういうところにも戸惑いはあったんですけど、しっかり対応でき
siguro kaya rin nahirapan itong uh, ating Vietnam team. It's because kargado na pati yung uh, service no ng uh, Kurashiki Ablaze. And uh, I guess if if anything uh, for for both these teams, it was uh, a good way to uh, test the waters dito sa ating venue dito sa Pilipinas dito sa PVL it was a uh, good showing sabi nga nila may adjustment na nangyayari so all of us i'm pretty sure alongside the fans will be keen to see what uh, their next games would be like right and for Kurashki and Kin Bakbakdin they will have one day of either rest or training because they will be seeing action every day for all game days next week. There you see Kurashki taking on Signal at 4 p.m. this coming Monday. Still inside the Field Sports Arena to be followed by Katarado in the PLDT High Speed Hitters going up against uh, Kin Bakbak Nin. And Vietnam will try to gun for the first win in our semifinals. Thank you so much for joining us, folks. It has been a pleasure covering our guest teams here in the PBL. For uh, Andrew Miliakanda and Alexis Tinsai, my name is Nick Gomez, and we'll see you again this coming Monday for more of your BBL Invitational Conference.